Hey guys, in this video I would like to do a comparison between native 4K and OBS upscaled 4K. Now the video signal is from a typical 4K60 signal via the Magewell USB 4K Capture Plus capture card. The two examples I want to show are virtually identical, simply because it's a native 4K signal in the first place. The Majorwell USB 4K Capture Plus, that's a bloody mouthful that is, <laughs> Capture Card only records at 4K 30fps maximum. So this method is very useful to record 4K 60 signals at 60 frames a second if you set OBS to record 1080p or 1440p 60, then upscale it back to 4K. Right, I'm going to explain or show you how to do that properly. Um, the resulting video recorded this way is identical to the 4K native version in terms of resolution and better than you have a 1080p signal which doesn't look any better when upscaled. In other words, no visual difference, so there's no point in doing it. Right, so when you set your console to output 4K resolution, you can play and record your game and the end result is fantastic. Please bear in mind though, this method I'm describing here is only when the game runs at around about 60 frames a second from your console and you want to produce a 4K 60fps video, okay? So, what you're seeing here, basically, it, to make it look like more of a comparison, is is 4K 30 originally recorded with the Majorel, but I've interpolated the video using MediUI to 60 frames a second, because it's, it's how both videos, you know, I want them to look. I don't want to record 30fps if the game's running at 60. So, I'll take a look at this. Okay, now the two videos you've just seen, the first one was native 4K at 30 frames a second. It was interpolated to 60, but forget about that for the time being. This here on the left hand side is the settings for that. 3840 by 2160 and 30 frames a second. All right, let's get rid of that. Um, the second video, this is where you add more things. The second video, you change it to 2560 by 1440p or 1920 by 1080. I always go with that one because it's, it's probably going to be even less difficult, less hard to tell, you know, more hard to tell what I'm saying between native 4K and the this method. And you change that to 60. Yeah, you see what I've done there. Okay, press OK. Now, when it comes to recording the upscale version of the game, I add the um, color correct. So you can see, it, see how it changed? That that's the original, that's the uh, with the colour correction. I press on it, you can see contrast 0.15, saturation 0.12. You can play around with that to your taste, you know what I mean? Um, sharpen, I don't really bother with. And that colour correction there is for Red Dead Redemption because that game is really washed out. <laughs> see what I mean? Look at that. Way too much. Now, the most important thing to make this work for your... 1440p upscale to 4k 60fps video is you have to change it well I always go with Lanxos I presume that's the best one and resolution is 3840 by 2160 all right so that's what you have to add the scaling and the the sharpen color corrections are optional but I just do that because that's I want to recreate the HDR effects because the card won't record HDR signals. So I have to turn the HDR, you know, function off within the Xbox itself. Okay, so that's how I do that. Now to end the video, I'd like, just like to say that this video would not have been possible if it wasn't for a guy called Epos Fox, who's kind of like the OBS authority on YouTube. You know, if you want to know about using OBS, Check that guy out. His channel's linked in the description. Much bigger channel than me, and uh, it's well deserved as well. He's he's a very clever guy, and uh, he suggested this method in his review of the Major World Capture Card. So that's how this video's come about. So props to him, and you know credit to him. 
but I hope you enjoyed the video anyway and uh, I'll see you in the next one thank you for watching